Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, <laughs> wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah. Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 36. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Entering exhibition play now. I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back. And it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone. And he got there in a hurry. Zerline now for the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, He's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. deep in there, right? <laughs> from the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. The number seven, usually lucky here, not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he won a Heisman Trophy in college, so sometimes you just have a lousy game. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad career. But when you're talking about one game, seven, you're right, not lucky at all. Yeah, Ty Detmer, the last to do it in 2001, to throw seven picks. Throwing again on second down. Prescott, able to hit his target, Lamb. 
And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Down throw for Prescott. Prescott stripped, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. There he goes, right side. He's at the 40. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30 yard line. So now, our referee looking at the sideline saying, Are you sure? But yes, this defense has accepted the penalty, so that means they will not take possession on the fumble recovery. Well, I'm not sure why in the world you do that, but that is apparently the decision. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Hill diving, and he's got it full extension. What a catch. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. Whoop. Entering instant replay. Entering exhibition play now. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Edwards Alaire. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight yard line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. Here's Mahomes to throw. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Micah Parsons. And the Cowboys are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch on is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much. There he goes, Amari Cooper, the 20. And this will set them up nicely deep down at KC territory. A big play there on the catch and run. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Off the play fake, Prescott. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter and Oh, that is going to be a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Dallas offense set for this next drive. 
And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They set up the screen to Elliott. And he will lose yardage on the play, back at his own 19-yard line. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. They play fake to Elliott. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. Scott on first down. That one complete, Elliott. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Coming up on second and seven. He'll throw again, Prescott. He finds his man, complete. That's Elliott. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Gonna take a shot for Gallup. And incomplete on the deep ball. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. To throw on second and 10. And the Chiefs are gonna get him. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on the floor. The Cowboys will go. That is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys add on. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. KC's offense ready to take over. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. So that a potential lifeline offensively gets them out of harm's way deep in their own end. You nailed that one perfectly because those are the kind of mistakes that give defense coordinators fits. They make a good play and they let them off the hook. Mahomes now on first down. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Calvin Joseph. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. Gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, 
You're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. It'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Well, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can run the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Scott looks to first. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. First and 10. Scott steps away to his left. And his ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. C.D. Lamb there to make the grab. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one. You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Leighton Vanderesh. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Well, this is one heck of an individual performance we're witnessing. That is now his third interception. And keep in mind, folks, this isn't a safety or a cornerback. This is a linebacker. Does this feel to you like he's having a flashback? Because a lot of these linebackers we see in the NFL, in high school, they were offensive stars. They touched the football all the time. It's like he said to himself, oh, Prescott stripped. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. To throw again on second down, Prescott. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. On third down, Elliott. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, Prescott. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Zerline connects on the extra point, And that will extend this big lead. Just a four-play drive that time, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. 
Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now here comes Kansas City. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first down, Mahomes. That is incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off right around the 43. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around a defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. They can get some first downs just as good as running the football. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. He was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Second down, a chief sack. Well, no shock here. For the seventh time in this game, it appears they'll go for it on fourth down. Prescott off play action. Steps away. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. So first and 10 now from the 30. Well, Prescott here to throw. There's that man again. It's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. 
But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead will swell by one more. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 and the 24. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. One final try for Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys here to say, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. Passing to intercept, passing touchdown, completion, passing touchdowns, one, com team, completion, QB rating 40.0. Rushing selected. Yard 20. Yards after contact 44. 20 yard runs, longest run of the day 98. Receiving selected. Longest, longest reception 78. Drop, F, pre, TD. Team K, re, receiving yards 229. Receiving, blocking selected. Sack, 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 sack allowed to. Defensive selected. Tack, 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 tackle zero. Tack, tack, tackle, kicking selected. Field goal attempt, field goal attempts to. Punting selected. Post-game report players. 